Hey everybody, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. Um, so like, I just had to come on here because if you don't know, I'm really like an introverted person. Like I only speak when something needs to be said. And so for a while now, God has just been placing it on my heart for me to speak out more, um, just just to speak out more and I'm the type I'm like Lord I ain't gotta like I ain't gotta speak to people like I don't have to uh be front and center or anything like that so like the books and stuff y'all see me write nothing but God nothing but God but when we totally surrender ourselves to God he will move in us like never before and it's for him to be glorified everything we do here in this land is for God to be glorified and I think with the way the world is today, everybody gets caught up in like being seen. Everybody wants to be seen. It, this is not about us. At, this is not about us at all. Like this is about Jesus because when it's all said and done, it's going to be where your soul is going to spend eternity. It is nothing about how much money you make and what kind of house you live in and what kind of bank account or you know what kind of car you drive none of that matters y'all when i tell you god has been since i've been here in texas on this isolation god has been just revealing things to me and showing things to me and and i have really been disgusted in the spirit because i see so many people playing with god and what we have to understand is that god is not playing this is real this warfare warfare is real everything we doing we don't have to give an account for it if you're not leading people to Christ and you're trying to lead people with your things and your stuff, you are not operating in the spirit of God. And I'm the type of person like I sit back, I sit back, I watch, I observe, I observe. That's what I do. I just look and I observe and I pray. But I'm saying my prayer is, Lord, heal the land, heal the land and save these people because people are dying at the hands of people that think it is OK to mislead people and lead people astray. It is not okay to lead people astray and make people think things and stuff is going to bring them peace. Things and stuff is going, yes, it's okay to live nice. I'm not saying that you have to live in lack, but please don't lead people to Christ with your stuff. We do not know the hour nor the time when this is going to be all said and done. And if we are leading people with stuff, do you know the blood that is on your hands? You are leading people in lies. You are leading people in deceit. And that is not of God. You are operating in witchcraft. And that is not of God. And I am going to say what needs to be said. Because a lot of y'all is sitting back and allowing this stuff to happen. And people are being led astray. People are being deceitful. People are, lives matter souls matter and God cares about the souls of his people God has been dealing with me with this whole situation just showing me stuff to go on when I tell y'all I'm so disgusted with the things of the world it don't make no sense when y'all see me get up here my hair my hair I get up here I just be like what's up because I'm so disgusted with the things of the world it is like a whole new feeling y'all when I tell y'all my cry has been Lord save the land heal the land heal the land heal the land because people are dying people are are dying not even knowing who Christ is because we have platforms and we are not glorifying the name of Jesus Christ we have platforms and we are putting foolishness up here and we are putting our homes and our vehicles and our businesses up here but nobody is calling on the name of Jesus but nobody is tapping in and saying if you call on the name of Jesus you will be set free if you call on the name of Jesus you will be delivered if you call on the name of Jesus he will bring you out of bondage instead we want to tell people what feels good to them we want to tell people what looks good we showing people what looks good we have to be real with ourselves and God brought me to the book of Jeremiah. And he was saying, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. 
I set you apart. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. That a lot of people are not going to agree with you, with what you are saying. But it is I that speak through you. You have to open up your mouth because the people are dying in sin. Because nobody is taking the gospel serious. Because people are just being a mess in their mess out here. But the Lord is not playing. Time is steady ticking. Stop. Time is steady ticking. And this morning, that video that I actually had put up, it cut off. Right when I was getting to the point of God been telling me time is ticking. Time is ticking, Mary, and they're not getting it. Time is ticking and they're not getting it. Time is ticking and they're steady looking at their bank account. Time is ticking and they're steady looking at their houses. Time is ticking and they're steady looking at the possessions of this land. But their soul 